Okay, so it's now been an hour, so what I'm going to do is we'll try and get this cling film off. Came off quite well, and then I'm going to weigh how much this dough now weighs and divide it into four. As you can see, it's got a bit smoother. Okay, so it's 1,073 grams. So it's going to work out roughly um, 268 grams a dough ball. Um, and what I've done over here is I've put some olive oil into these um, little trays that I've got that have got lids on them. So that will keep it airtight. I'm going to make the dough balls, put a dough ball into each of the trays, put a lid on. And I'm going to put it straight in the fridge tonight and then I'll get it out about eight hours um, before I start making pizza tomorrow and the reason I'm going to do it eight hours is because I need a couple of hours maybe an hour to come up to room temperature after being in the fridge and then the other time in uh, out of the fridge is going to be to have the dough rise to the correct, or how I want it, um, level. Okay, so there you go, it's 268. Again, I'm not gonna add any flour, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and fold and pinch it back on itself to try and make a nice tight dough ball. Uh, and you can see the little lumps I was talking about before in the flour here. But like I said, they, they, when you go to make the pizza tomorrow, they won't be there. So don't worry about it. I did, like I said, I did start panicking the first time I saw them and I thought I'd messed it up, but it's going to make some really good pizza, this. Okay, so that's nice and tight. So I'm just going to pinch it off, get that into the center there. So that's one day all done. Right, so next one. Need number 268 grams. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh. A little bit more. Go okay, bang on. So I'm just gonna get this one out. And again, I'm just gonna fold it back in on itself. Just try and get it smooth and tight and this will help it have a nice rise when it proves out of the fridge tomorrow at room temperature. You get loads of air in it, which you'll see um, when I go to make the actual pizza. Okay, so that one's nice and tight. Let me go in there. Two. A little bit more. That do. So if you got, you can sort of work this a little bit quick, and you've got to move your fingers around because otherwise you're just going to end up with it sticking on you. And like I said earlier, you really don't want to put loads of extra flour on this because you don't want to. Otherwise, you're going to start changing your recipe. And you've, obviously your flour to water ratio is going to change a lot. Okay, so you can see it's coming smooth, nice and tight. Seal that up. And there, it's the last one. Yep, so that's, hang on, last one I'm going to do. And pinch it back. You can you can feel when it starts to get tighter the dough. It starts off quite loose when you're doing it, and the more you fold it back in on itself, it starts getting tighter around the front there. And then here, yeah. That's one. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll get these lids on. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to do that for all four of these. And I'm going to put it into the fridge. Uh, it'll be overnight now, so it's half past five. So I'll be looking to get these out at about uh, maybe nine o'clock tomorrow morning. And then making the pizza about five o'clock in the afternoon. Okay.